Hi guys, so I have um, two kinds of lava here. I have some thin lava on in this cup and some thick lava in this cup. And I've put red food coloring in it just to like make it look more like lava, right? But really this one is just water with red food coloring and that's what makes it like super thin, right? And this one is water with red food coloring but also with flour mixed in, which is what makes it like you see how like it doesn't move around a whole lot it's much more thick and pasty than this one like this one you can tell is a lot more thin and runny right this one like yes it's kind of spreading around a little bit but not too much so let's try to blow bubbles in each kind of lava um, first I'm gonna try to blow bubbles in the thin lava and then I will blow some bubbles in the thick lava and we will see the difference so here we go, here's some bubbles in the thin lava. Pretty easy to blow bubbles in the thin lava, right? Pretty easy for that one. Okay, let me wash off my straw. Now let's try it in the thick lava. What do you notice is happening with the thick lava? What's the difference between the thin lava and the thick lava? Which one looked like it was easier to blow bubbles in? Pause the video here and go to your lava investigation page and answer question number one by circling which lava was easiest to blow bubbles in. Okay, for the next comparison, I'm going to try to blow just one bubble. I'm going to try to limit it to just one bubble. And I'm going to try it with the thin lava, and then I'm going to try it with the thick lava and see which one is easier to just to be able to control it and only blow one bubble. Let's see. Okay, first, the thin lava. All right, ready? I'm going to try this, just one bubble. Ah, it's so hard. The bubbles come out so fast. Okay, let me try again. Uh, I think that was like two or three. One more time. Oh, that was a good one, right? Okay, I had to do it real slow. Okay, you kind of can see like one bubble at a time coming out there, but it was hard to control it, right? The bubbles were coming out pretty fast. Let me wipe off my straw. Now I'll try it in the thick lava, just one bubble. Oh, that was, a, that was a good one. Okay, let's try again. What's the difference in the way that I can control one bubble, just one bubble in the thin lava versus the thick lava? Which one did it seem like it was easier to be able to blow just one bubble at a time? Pause the video here and answer question number two. Which lava is easier to control blowing only one bubble at a time? Okay, this time I'm going to try to blow a continuous series of bubbles. Um, I'm going to try it first in the thin lava and then in the thick lava. So I'm going to like blow into the straw and then I'm going to continue blowing and see if I can get a continuous series of bubbles. Let's try the thin lava first. That's pretty easy to get a continuous series of bubbles going. Let's try the thick lava now. I'll wipe off my straw. Okay. Ah, that's hard. It's like it only comes out in one bubble at a time. Let me try again. It's hard to get a series of bubbles.
pause the video here and answer question number three. How are the bubbles different in the different lavas? Describe how the bubbles are different. Okay, for our last comparison, let's try to use the thin lava and the thick lava to make a volcano, to try to pile it up like a mountain and see which one looks more um, like a volcano, which one is easier to pile up high like a mountain. So again, we, have our, we still have our thin lava and our thick lava, right? But this time I'm gonna use a spoon and I'm going to, I have a plate here I'm going to slide these out to the side so you can see this part a little bit better. Um, I'm going to use my spoon and I'm just going to like put some of the thin lava on the plate and I'm going to try to get it to pile up like a mountain. Now, those of you who know anything about water, what do you think is the chance of me being able to get this like super thin liquidy water to pile up like a mountain, right? I bet you can go ahead and make a prediction about that on your own. Okay, ready? Here's a spoonful. And uh, I'd like it to be a little bit more mountainy. Hmm. Maybe if I put more water, what do you guys think? If I add more of the thin, of the thin lava, what do you think here? And I can kind of give you a better angle here. Uh, what do you think? Is it looking very mountainy? What shape do you think that would make? If you had to draw that shape, <laughs> that kind of flat shape there, um, what shape do you think you would draw for that? All right, again, here's what it looks like. I tried to get it, I tried to get it to look like up as high as a mountain as it could be, but I mean like it's, it's water, right? Okay, so I still have my thin mountain. You know what, I'm gonna rotate this plate and put it so that it matches the side that had the thin lava, right? That's the side with the thin lava. So here's the thin lava. And that is what my mountain looks like. It is, it is quite a flat mountain. Let's try to make a volcano now with the thick lava. Um, any predictions, guys? Any predictions? Okay, here comes a spoonful. Do you think I can get this to be a little bit more mountainy? What do you guys think? Does it spread out? Is it spreading out as much as, it, as the thin lava did? Right. It's a bit easier to get it to stay kind of in this little area without spreading out so much like the thin lava. Right, we can kind of get it to, to push up a little bit easier. Right, we can, we can actually like do something with this because it's thicker and pastier. Right, compared to, let me wash off my spoon real quick, compared to this thin lava, which like, if I try to pile up that thin lava, it just keeps spreading around, right? It just stays pretty flat. Let me try to show you guys from, I'll move my lavas. Can you tell which one can pile up a little bit easier than the other one? And which one stays pretty flat? Now you're going to finish your investigation by completing number four and five, where you draw a picture of the thin lava and the thick lava when we tried to make a mountain. After your picture, you'll answer questions six and seven, where you try to make a connection between the kind of lava and which kind of volcano has each kind of lava.